turns them all on. It's it's funny that the data that you'll see later on is going to tell us which one measured black better. Than but you did that at, at zero IRE. Which is how you measure black well, That's how you have to measure However, Right, but if it's, 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 but it's fair, not fair. Again, it's not fair if the LED shuts right, off. Right, that's right. not fair. Yeah, well, no we have to do it at the threshold of where it turns on its LED. I wouldn't even do it like that, to be honest with you. I would go with what Kevin was saying is with real content because with the local dimming LEDs, okay. they have an advantage over the plasmas. Right. However, right. you know, it's right. what you see during the content that matters. Okay, right. thank right. you. Yeah. So I think take some yeah. notes here as to what you feel is the darkest. Yeah, and let's vote on it later. And let's vote on it later. The other yeah. elements That's we can terrific, probably uh, vote on as we go. That's so let's absolutely. This, let's put Kevin on hold. We'll start right. developing this uh, program as we go. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, I'm may I interject really something? Important. Yeah, please, Ed. Um, you know, not only measuring the full off black and the full on white, when we put the checkerboard pattern up there, which display held their blacks closest to the original full off black and which held their whites closest to the full on white? was important as well. Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you, you mean holding black at black independent yeah, of there was content. A number of pressure. displays that the black level rose up with the checkerboard pattern and the white level yeah, dropped yeah, down yeah, on. Yeah. And there that, was other ones that held it very yeah, close. Local to local dimming has yeah. got something to do with why that was happening. That's for sure on that. All right, so we'll readdress black and contrast um, at, the, at the end when we're looking at real content, right? Let's go back to the... Uh, Oh no, I'm going to switch over to the um, Denon and we're going to get into color. Okay, we're also going to do luminance if you want to peak white, if you want peak white, otherwise we'll pass on Peak white is all the same in the room. It's been set to 35 foot lamberts on every it panel. Different. I know. Yeah. yeah. Again, well, we need to discuss that when we're yeah. looking at program material. Okay. Yeah. How do we we saw it up? yesterday, but I don't want to get ahead of the game. Um, second item on the list Moving down the list is color saturation. In fact, how much color is in the picture. And that gets affected by accurate decoding, color decoding, or inaccurate, depending upon what we're talking about. Um, we have some test patterns uh, courtesy of Joe Kane Productions. Joe Kane was kind enough to lend us a test disc of material that he's not released yet. Um, although this particular pattern actually is on one of his other discs, but it's a very useful pattern. It puts up the two different um, references. One is Rec 601 and you know, BT 601, depending upon how you want to call it, and Rec 709. 601 being um, the matrix for decoding standard definition, and 709 being the matrix for decoding high def. Turns out uh, the vast majority of televisions on the market today are not uh, decoding to 709 for high def properly. And this is a big issue when it comes to color saturation, which is the second most important element in the picture. Um, and the best way to actually see this is with a TV that has the ability to isolate red and green separately and look at red decoding and green decoding. We do have a few filters, though, since we do have two TVs in the room that can do it. But I'm going to pass around some filters. You guys can kind of pass them around. I'll bring up the um, oops, I'll bring up the uh, the sets that can do it are two Panasonics and an LG. I mean two uh, Samsungs and an LG. And then I'll explain what you should be looking at. This is the disc I had to sign off on my three kids. To <laughs> so, Jeff, Leanne, Kate, I'm very sorry if this doesn't get returned to Joe. You guys got a. You're up for collateral. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an experimental disc with some new uh, test patterns on it that haven't been shown before. A lot of the manufacturers don't even have some of these patterns to test their own equipment. So look at 601, look at 709. We're feeding in high depth. It should be doing 709. What this should look like, 709 should actually look like 601. 601, right. These are four different squares of color when you isolate it. They should be exactly the same luminance or intensity. So this is the best we can get out of it. And we this should be down here. Decode HD, not standard. This television is actually decoding SD. That's right. For high def. Standard definition. Not a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, this one's doing the, the same uh, thing. We determined that yesterday. Um, LCD. Matter of fact, 
Wayne, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think any TV in the room is doing it correctly. None of them passed. None of them passed. None of them. Passed. None of them. Some of them are doing 601. Some of them are doing something that's not even 601. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what it is. We need 709 decoders built in. That's what we want them to do. Oops, that's not where I want to go. Where are we? Here we are. Come back up here. Let's do. We want this the is not doing 601. And unfortunately, the pattern blocks it. When I yeah, we can't move that uh, thing. I wish I could. Yeah. The but if you came up closely, you could clearly see that this patch here is darker than that one and that one. That's a defect. Um, in so it's not color doing color 709 color. or 601. Of the panel. It's doing something in between or whatever. I don't and know we can't fix that right. in calibration. No. And uh, kind of surprised considering this, this had to go through THX certification yeah. that they did not pick up on this. Well, they didn't have this disc, I don't think. Well, it's, yeah. They didn't have all these They're going to have it next time I see it. <laughs> all right. All right. Been uh -oh. the consumer. Anyway, um, not trying to pick on any one manufacturer. This is kind of an industry-wide problem, and it's a silly problem because there's no specifications are right there. No all you have to do is get the documentation, do the math, and build a 709 decoder and get it right. And frankly, all these TVs should be able to do both of them. Automatically switch back and forth because, gee whiz, we are looking at SD material still, and we would be for quite a while. Um, Kevin? Yeah. What are you? What kind of signal are these TVs getting at right now? This is Blu-ray, 1080p, 24. So is there really color decoding going on? Sure. YCVCR. This is an RGB. Uh, okay. Uh, this is interesting. Absolutely. So that, yeah, a lot of times, you know, you see people say that color decoding is kind of irrelevant in... Uh, no, color decoding does not exist in RGB. Or red, green, and blue are equal, there's no decoding. It, when we're feeding it YCBCR, most yeah. definitely has to decode. Mm -hmm. Dwayne, you wanted to... Uh, I was going to say mm -hmm. that pretty much all displays output the image in RGB. However, what we're speaking of is how it's processing. What's being the, input. Right, what's being input. Mm -hmm. It can't get that correct. Mm -hmm. so, so these could, could be corrected in the software. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is all software. Mm -hmm. So in a firmware yeah, upgrade, can fix this. Right, this is not uh, anything that is um, in the actual mechanical section, per se, of the display. This is all software. That'd be nice if the theory came out with it. Just to be devil's advocate for a moment, could, there, could this test be in any way flawed if everybody is screwing in on it? <laughs> let's let's send Joe Kane. Hey, can we get Joe Kane on the Skype? <laughs> no, I don't think so. This pattern was, I mean, Joe Kane is one of the best video engineers in the country. And he knows what he's doing. Okay, so I have to trust in him. He did train me, and I've worked with him for 20 years. No, the answer to that is no. Um, can we bring up a empty color bar pattern, please, Wayne? And then. Just to finish this section up, the big problem here, of course, is that when you go to set color with empty color bars, you would use the blue isolation feature in the TVs that have that, or you would use a blue filter to match the patterns, which I'll show you in a sec. I'll show you how it's done. Um, the problem, of course, is when you do that with something that has inaccurate decoding, color's not going to look right. Skin tones are not going to look right. Um, in most cases, skin tones will look too red and oversaturated and you'll end up taking the color control down from where you set it and you thought it was correct. That's the problem. Now in the process of doing that you're taking down the resolution of red and green as well as just taking the chroma down to make things look natural. So we're losing color resolution. So that's why we're talking about that. <coughs> we don't want to lose any resolution, color black and white or otherwise. Um, and I always, you know, to pick on Samsung, <laughs> but, um, I love their blue only utility. I, like I yeah. fight with all of my clients. Mitsubishi has uh, put blue only in their TVs. Is that another it's, one of your clients? Yeah. <laughs> it's the right way to do it. And you'll see that it looks incorrect. And the reason for that is because when I was done, I see rosy cheeks that shouldn't be that rosy and I take the color control down. And that's why what you're doing is with the color, you'd be raising and lowering color until these two patches here match as closely as possible. 
Thanks for calling. This is a this very well-respected TV broadcast uh, signal that's generated. It's an RS-170A, uh, Symphony color bar. With been around a, forever. With a ramp grayscale underneath it added in for good measure. Been around forever. So that's why that looks incorrect, because we looked at material and went, oh, gee, got to bring that down. Um, typically, this is correct at 50 or 51 on most Samsungs. Color is set in the set at 46 right now. Um, and still, skin tone to me doesn't look quite right. But I don't want to desaturate the picture too much because then color in the picture is going to look weak. Um, 